uh, in this video I'm going to show how to install ESXi 6.7 uh, using a workstation VMA workstation I have already created a VM here and I have allocated 8 GB of memory and 4 CPU and 8 GB of RAM and 8 GB of uh, hard disk I have already downloaded uh, ESXi ISO from VMA site I have mounted it here and uh, the VM is ready and we are going to power on the VM now Just press F11 to accept the license. Select the storage device and press enter. Defaults. F11 to install. Installation is completed. Press enter to reboot the server. Installation is completed now and the server is up and this is the console. You need to press F2 to log into server. Provide the password. You need to configure the management network. We have multiple NICs, we can see it here. Now the IP4 is in dynamic, like THCP. We need to set it to static. In production, uh, the IP should be uh, in static. So I'm going to run the IP now.
you can disable ipv6 but it require a reboot configure dns provide the dns server name once everything is done right it's asking a reboot as uh, we have disabled ipv6 uh, <coughs> before this yeah meanwhile when it is getting rebooted we will create a dns record in the DNS server okay. <coughs> I have logged into my Active Directory server and I am going to create a DNS record for for my ESXi box Check the IP which I have assigned to ESXi box. So, yeah, it's dot seventy. Let me check the host name. Yeah, it's good. Okay, we have created a DNS record. Let's check whether we are able to ping the IP Yep, we able to do that Okay. you can check the network connectivity here uh, we'll try to ping the dns server uh, <coughs> the first one is the gateway but gateway may not work because it doesn't exist so Okay, we are able to resolve host name as well as we are able to ping the DNS server. So our test is working fine. Our test is fine. Our result is fine. So this is the uh, basic steps to install ESXi box. You will see how to add an ESX box to an vCenter and create port groups in next video thank you